Okay, this is our introduction to all of the units and how this is, each unit is going to be work exactly the same. So you'll have a, an assignment sheet and the assignment sheet it will be the first thing and it'll tell you each section. Again, we looked at this in the intro video a little bit. And it'll always start out with read each chapter. Again, the information in there is critical to not only getting the business background, but also the applications to do the math. And so it's a critical. The first thing you do with each unit is to read the chapter. They're about 20 pages. It won't take very long because there's some math in the middle. So the technical business parts will read fairly quickly. And again, do that first each time. And you'll have an assignment, like in chapter five, you're going to read the chapter, section one, each one will have a section, usually three, I think one chapter maybe will have four, but most of them have between two and three sections, and you'll have an assignment. So these this is the pages that the homework is on, and generally I will have you do odds, because like I mentioned, the odds are in the back of the book, and it'll allow you to compare to see how your answers match with the answers in the back. And then again, if there's questions on why they're not, those are email to me so I can help you figure it out so we can master the material. And so it'll go through each one. You'll do the practice test, then you'll download and complete each chapter's test and then you'll upload it. We're going to go over that in a minute. So we're going to go back here. Take this up to the top so we've got to go back down to the bottom. Okay, so we've looked at the assignments. Again, I would like you to look at the objectives each time because these are the things I want you to learn. So with each chapter and each section, so section broken down by section, so chapter 4, section 1, understanding and using checking accounts, these are the things that I want you to learn in each section. Endorsing a, a checks by using blank, restrictive, and full endorsements. That's a good skill. Preparing deposit slips. Again, good skills. And each section is going to have those. And again, there's going to be three chapters in each unit, and then each section will have the objectives, okay? And so hopefully at the end of the chapter, you will have met all of our objectives. So I'm going to go back. Again, for optional use, okay, if you've gone through the lectures, as we talked about in the intro video, each section is going to have a lecture. If at the end of that, you say, yeah, I sort of got it, but maybe I need a little bit more, I have tried to go on to the web and look up YouTubes that would have additional resources, additional clarifications, maybe coming at it from a slightly different point of view or way to do it to maybe help you get that. My way is not the only way. You know, math can be done in a couple different ways, but the answer is the answer. So we all have to get to the same end. We just have to decide uh, there might be a different way that works better for you. That's great. So again, these are optional. Each unit will have optional YouTubes that will maybe help you master the material. Again, if you don't need those, you've got it. No problem. You don't have to look at those. Okay, so each section again is going to have a video. So we're going to take a look at chapter 5, section 1 there for a second. I know the sound doubles up, so it's a little tougher. But I'm going to have the intro page. These problems go with chapter 5, section 1, where we're trying to solve variables. Problem number 2 is C minus 16 is equal to 5. Right. Okay, so each one of those is going to have an, an a instructional video, just like if you were sitting in class, I would be doing these things on the board and showing you how to do it. So the videos are going to go along with the normal class lecture. So please, 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 please make sure you watch each one of those. And the nice thing about having a video is that a lot of times if you're sitting in a 
face-to-face -face class and you go home and say, now what did he say? These allow you to go back and look at them a couple of times if you need them. So that's a, another nice thing about having the videos is that you can watch them a couple of times if you need to. And they'll go with each section. Now, the PowerPoints are again another way to look at the material. So I'm going to look at Chapter 4's PowerPoint and I'm just going to pull this up here and see I'm just going to run this up here so you can look at it in a different view but you're going to each one will look at the standard one provided by the textbook company and so they'll list the objectives and some additional resources and they're very good it what doesn't take you very long to go through those but then every once in a while for the slide if there is something then I will add a little sound little icon over here and I will have then the key to your added some additional instruction a checking account is to make and so if you see the little icon and it will always be in the top right hand corner that means that I have added some additional instruction or clarifications to help you master the material and again each PowerPoint is going to have those added to them all right so let's get out of those Okay, each week is going to have a form. Okay, so let's take a look at that. You're going to need to respond to those. It's part of your grade, as we mentioned. So, first one is an introduction form. You're just going to introduce yourself. Okay, for each form, you need to post a reply to my post, which is basically the assignment is my post. And you will apply to at least one other student for a total of two postings every time. You have to get two in order to get all the points. If you just do one, you're only going to get a few points. So the assignment is that you're supposed to make an initial post and then reply to somebody else's respond. So introduce yourself. Here's just a sample. Okay? And then you will post it. So at the bottom it says add a new discussion topic. So let's actually do that. So when you hit that each week, or each unit, it's not each week, it's each unit. So there's only five of them it's going to come up with that. So the subject would be intro. So you're going to write I in introduction or whatever you want to do it. Intro to, I'm just going fast, BA 104. All right. And then you're going to type in your, and I'm just going to do an abbreviation here, hi. And then you go down here where it says post to form. And that's, you hit that and then it actually gets uploaded. So you're going to type in here. Okay, I'm not going to actually do that, so I'm going to eliminate all that because I don't want that in there as a sample. It actually goes in because we're live. Okay, but here's where you upload it, post a form. All right, so you're going to do that each unit. And then once you're in there, you can actually go to the form and, yes, I'm going to leave that page. Then you can be your other students in your class will have their introduction, and they you can then reply to them. And again, you're in. I don't have a word requirement on these, but you're in a college class, so you know it should be 50 to 100, 150. You know, I don't need a doctoral dissertation, but a decent first post, and then a reply should be you know. 25, 50 word reply, or you know, I, I like uh, the outdoors too, and how have you been to, you know, such a such a place? It's just kind of a dialogue to just kind of help to get to know other students in the class. So each unit, you will have an introduction form. Okay, as you we talked about before, each unit is two weeks long, and these are the things that you have to do in those two weeks. So you'll have three chapter quizzes and then a unit that covers all, all, all three at once. Now each one is going to be about 25 questions or so, 25, 30 questions, and they're multiple choice. So let's actually look at a test. So here's your chapter four quiz. So we're going to download it. If we download it, then we hit it and it'll pop up. So it actually loads to the bottom. Now where it has, says enable editing, right here on the top, you need to hit that because you want to be able to work with this. So, since this is the actual quiz, believe it or not, you can't actually add your name here. It's really weird, but it won't let you. So, 
How we do that then is when we save the file, you're going to save the file with your name in it. And we'll show how to do that before in just a couple of minutes here. So let's go to home over here in the top right hand corner and this will come up. What the easiest way to do these is you just go over here to the highlight the text color. And I like either one of these, either yellow or green because it shows up. So let's hit yellow. So now I have it as a pin. I notice that my arrow went to the pin. So as I go through here and I've answered the question, I say, aha, I think it's answer A. So then you just highlight it and notice it changes color. Now I'm not saying that's the correct answer. It's probably not. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So then I move on to question two and I go through and read that, solve it, and I say, aha, it's also A. So I highlight that and again I've marked it and so on and so forth. So, as I go through, I go through each question. So I scan down and I do all of them exactly the same way. All right? So, we have 20 questions in this, multiple choice. We answer that, so then we get down to the below. We've done it all. Now we come back up to the top. We don't want to do that. So, Yeah, don't worry about that. That was fat fingers on my part. So we get to file and we want to save as. All right. Now here is where you notice I mentioned in that intro to docx. That means it's a word file. So docx are very easy for me to read because my computer is all set to do word. But I need to change this. So we're going to change the name and chapter four is fine. So, but I'm going to put my name. So I'm going to put Mr. Hewitt. Chapter or test. Uh -huh. No, I'm trying to type too fast. There we go. So now we're going to save that. You can save it anywhere you want to, wherever you do that. I just like to save mine to the desktop. So I'm going to use this arrow to go up to the desktop and save it there because this is now the new name. Okay, your name. So John Smith. Rebecca, uh, whatever, and just simply save your name there with the chapter and just hit save. Okay, so now it's saved to the desktop, and you can do that a couple of times as you. If you don't finish it all in one thing, save it, then you can pull it back up. It's easy to find on the desktop that way because you now have to upload it. So I'm going to close out of that. Now I go down here to upload. So now you've done your test, you've saved it to the desktop or, or wherever, and now we're going to go to upload. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Okay, we've got this switched around to the student view. So yours will look like this. And so you go down here, it says add sub submission. Okay. So it'll come down here, and you can either drag and drop this. So okay, we scroll down here and you see where this says add. So we hit add, and it says to upload a file. Okay, and now we have to choose a file. Okay, remember we saved it on the desktop, and we scroll down. There's Mr. Hewitt Chapter 4 Test. So we open that, okay, and there it has. See, it's abbreviated. Okay, and we're going to say to upload this file, and we hit this. Okay, I'm not going to actually do that because I don't want to have that go in my records, but this is where you hit it. All right, and then you just say save changes, and that'll upload it to me. Okay, and you do that each week. Okay, so do the same thing to the chapter 5 quiz, chapter 6 quiz, and the unit test. Each one has a matching upload down here. So again, so chapter 5 quiz, you would say John Smith, chapter 5 test, save it to your desktop, then go down here, find it, upload it, I will grade it, you'll be able to go into Moodle and see your grade each time, 
I can get on grading fairly quickly, so it'll go pretty well. So if you don't, if you upload and you don't see it graded in a few days, check with me to make sure it got uploaded. Also, I'll let you know too. If at the end of the unit and I don't have your test, I'll say, did you upload chapter five? And he, whoops, or double check or whatever. And when and we can get connected on that and make sure you get everything in. So you'll notice that each unit is going to be exactly the same. So it'll be unit two assignments, goals and objectives, some optional YouTubes, class lectures for each section, PowerPoints, quizzes, another form, uploads. So each unit is going to look exactly the same. Again, highlight your test just like what we were doing with the yellow or green, whatever. Um, I have students who will download, uh, do it on you know, just circle the answers or something and then save it as a PDF. Whatever works for you, that seems to be a lot more work. But again, it's up to you how you want to do it. So again, have fun with these. If you have questions, please, again, email me. Again, is always going to be the best way. And enjoy the class.